Hello again dreamers, it's Anna and welcome to another DIY challenge. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little non-traditional with our kit. We're going to be gluing it to a canvas bag. So if you're excited to see that, please stick around. But before you do, please don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to Dreamer Design so you don't miss out on any new videos that we do make. Alright you guys, let's begin. So here is the canvas bag that I'm going to be using. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas bag and I bought it off of Amazon. But just letting you know, this is the actual second time that I bought a canvas bag thinking the first one was going to work. And it's way too small. And I don't really know why because the description said it was supposed to be 16 by 20. So I just encourage you guys to make sure that you're reading the descriptions and everything very well and to make sure that you can return the item for free. So you can buy it again, try something else. So second time's a charm for me. This one is 40 by 50 centimeter Corgi Nights by Sagittarius Gallery from their version one. And you've seen this before being framed. I decided to change it up and use it for this instead so I can carry it wherever I go. It does fit perfectly except for the corners here because it's rounded so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there but I'm going to glue this on first and make a decision later I decided that I'm gonna go with Elmer's glue and see if this works I'll let it dry and check it out with you guys when it's done. So I'm just going to make sure this is all even. And I have a feeling I'm going to be using a lot of glue. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna make sure I get the edges very well. Or really well, I mean. Gonna get to the middle and then turn it around. I am not <laughs> a very crafty person, as you can imagine. I <laughs> so if this bothers you in any way, like, oh no, why are you using that glue? Or gosh, what are you doing? Spreading it out like that sporadically. I'm sorry. This is just the way I am. And this is just a test for me, honestly. I'm testing this out with you guys. This is the first time I've ever done this, so. Just want to have this turn out very well. That's all. I don't need any more glue than this. <laughs> you can tell the back of this kit has been glued and abused. <laughs> It's got pink wax on it, it's got hot glue on it. Actually hot glue is or the glue gun is going to be my next option if this doesn't work. So while this dries, I'm going to figure out what to do with this because you can see a little bit of an overlap there and there. So what I think I'm going to do, just kind of See if I can cut diagonally, I suppose. Because 
I have seen people cut off extra rows if the kit didn't fit completely. I really don't want to screw this up though, you know? These drills are not round, so it's not like it's going to be a perfect round circle. So I'm just going to do one square at a time. I'm going to cut one square at a time off like that. So obviously I'm going to have to uh, trim a little bit better there. Can you see that? There's a little diamond that I cut off. This is a first for me, by the way. I've never cut diamonds off of a kit before. There's that. I want to keep it even as well. Don't want to make it look too silly. I have to get some sharper knives or sharper scissors knife to get the edges off there. But I think right there is okay now. It's not hanging off over the edge. So I'll get rid of this one right here. That will make it even. I chopped off there anymore. So now I just gotta do it to the other side. So I have to get some of this white excess off too. I think I have to round this out a little bit more. I just want this to look, you know, not 
ugly in the bottom, you know? I want this to look smooth as possible. As smooth as possible, like you can do with squares anyway. So what I think I'm going to do is take a black Sharpie and, uh, and black marker right here. Make this blend in. So now you can't tell. You can see the white there, and I don't have to go off chopping things. I'm gonna do that right here too. Alright, so I rounded off the bottoms as best as I could. And I'm going to let this sit. Maybe put a little bit more glue on the edges. And we'll let this dry and we will come back to it. All right, I am back and I am happy to announce that the glue did work very well. It did leak through into the inside, but it didn't get on the back. So that's a plus there. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with Krillon Crystal Clear. This is to keep the diamonds from falling off, and I only do this when it's a kit that's going to be moved around a lot and bumped into, otherwise I don't seal them. I've got paper underneath here, and I've got my window open because you need to work in a well-ventilated area, and only you only have to spray just, uh, just lightly. You don't have to go crazy with it. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and I will be back with the final result. Yeah. All right, you guys, here is the final project. Turned out very well, I'm very happy. Let me do a little close-up. 
of the corners here to show you what I did. It's very noticeable on the green, but that's all right because no one's going to be looking at the corners. They're going to be looking at the whole thing, which I think is just so awesome. And it is so big, so I can put a lot of stuff in this. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite part about this. And if you want to try this out on your own, please don't forget to tag us, Dreamer Designs, on Instagram or Facebook. And also, before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to Dreamer Designs and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos that we release. And if you guys have any other suggestions for videos, please let us know as well. Alright, you guys, I will see you next time. And don't forget to paint with passion.